Eye Glaucoma presents Simple Steps for Success with the Omni Surgical System by Constance Okeke. This year in May of 2020, Sight Sciences launched a new handpiece for their Omni Surgical System. This system is unique in that it offers two angle procedures in one device, goniotomy and transluminal viscoelastic delivery. The system is a combination of two prior products from Sight Sciences, the TRAB360 and VSCO360 that were originally released in 2015. This omni-surgical system is a manually operated single-use device that can deliver small amounts of viscoelastic fluid through the trabecular meshwork and into the area of Schlem's canal, also reaching distal collector channels of the outflow system. In addition, the same small catheter can be used to unroof trabecular meshwork to expose collector channels within the outer wall of Schlem's canal. Now this new handpiece features an ergonomic handle and flexi-grip surface for more comfort and stability in the surgeon's hands. The gearing wheel has also changed in its position for easier deployment and retraction of the microcatheter. Also, the Lulock fitting and the pull pin offers more efficiency in the priming and the preparation of the device. So let's now check out the actual surgical steps. First, the ideal glaucoma patient is going to be one with a wide open angle and normal anatomy. Just to review, with angle surgery, our aim is for the trabecular meshwork above scleral spur to enter and gain access to Schlem's canal behind. Now here, we are evaluating the tip of the omni, making sure that there is easy deployment of the microcatheter. We enter in and have a decision to go inferiorly. We'll take the tip, find the trabecular meshwork, and engage the tip into the trabecular meshwork with some pressure. Sometimes some wiggling action can help to get the tip of the Omni handpiece into the correct position through the trabecular meshwork and into Schlem's canal. When we have used the tip to create a little goniotomy, we can then angle the tip about 30 degrees, and then begin to deploy the microcatheter into the trabecular meshwork. This should be done with good amount of ease when you're in the correct position. When the catheter is deployed fully for 180 degrees, as it's retracted, it will release viscoelastic, and that will allow for the opening of the Schlem's canal, as well as the opening of that viscoelastic into the distal channels. Then, without actually fully removing the tip, we can dial the microcatheter back into the same Schlem's canal space and then use the catheter by pulling in order to unroof the trabecular meshwork and expose that white outer wall of Schlem's canal. Then we can turn the catheter around and then go in the opposite direction superiorly and deploying the microcatheter into the Schlem's canal and retracting. And that's the Omni. Want more videos like this? Make sure you check out my Eye Glaucoma YouTube channel and the MIGS University video series, as well as the MIGS and Meds University video series, and much, much more. Thanks for watching.